think he was a great Labor Secretary, not a good Labor Secretary. He's done a fantastic job. He's a friend of everybody in the administration. And I got a call this morning early from Alex. And I think he did a very good job yesterday. Under a lot of pressure, he did a fantastic job. And he explained it. And he made a deal that people were happy with. And then 12 years later, they're not happy with it. You'll have to figure all of that out. But the fact is, he has been a fantastic Secretary of Labor. And Alex called me this morning, and he wanted to see me. And I, I actually said, well, we have the press right out here, so perhaps you just want to say it to the press. Uh, but I just want to let you know, this was him, not me, because I'm with him. He was a — he's a tremendous talent. He's a Hispanic man. He went to Harvard, a great student. And in so many ways, I just hate what he's saying now, because we're going to miss him. But please, Alex. Thank you, Mr. President. Over the last week, I've seen a lot of coverage of the Department of Labor. And what I have not seen is the incredible job creation that we've seen in this economy, more than 5 million jobs. I haven't seen that workplace injuries are down, bucking a three-year trend. Workplace fatalities are down, bucking a three-year trend. That we had the safest year ever in mining, the lowest number of fatalities ever in mining. I have seen coverage of this case that is over 12 years old, that has input and vetting at multiple levels of the Department of Justice. And as I look forward, I do not think it is right and fair for this administration's Labor Department to have Epstein as the focus rather than the incredible economy that we have today. And so I called the President this morning. I told him that I thought the right thing was to step aside. You know, cabinet positions are temporary trusts. It would be selfish for me to stay in this position and continue talking about a case that's 12 years old rather than about the amazing economy we have right now. And so I submitted my resignation to the president effective seven days from today, effective one week from today, earlier this morning. There is no need at all, as far as I'm concerned. I would have — I watched Alex yesterday. I thought Alex did a great job. And, you know, you can always second-guess people, and you could say it should have been tougher. They do it with me all the time. I make a great deal with anybody. And then they say, like the Democrats, oh, it could have been better. I got $1.2 billion settlement fine from a company, from uh, ZTE. And the next day — and everybody couldn't believe it. The next day, the Democrats said, oh, you should have gotten more. So you can always be second-guessed. That's what people do. I just want to tell you, uh, this is a person that I've gotten to know. There hasn't been an ounce of controversy at the Department of Labor until this came up. And he's doing this not for himself. He's doing this for the administration. And, Alex, I think you'll agree. I said, you don't have to do this. He doesn't have to do this. I do, and we have — we have, as everybody knows, we have Pat Pazella, who right now is a deputy, and he'll be acting for a period of time. I think you know Pat. He's a good man, highly recommended by Alex. Uh, but Pat is uh, going to be acting, and we've already informed him. Yes, and I did have a falling out a long time ago. Uh, the reason doesn't make any difference, frankly. But I haven't spoken to him in probably 15 years or more. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of Jeffrey Epstein, that I can tell you. And now, if you look, the remnants hurt this man, and I hate to see it happen. I will say this, and I say it again, and I say it loud and clear. Alex Acosta was a great Secretary of Labor. What he's done with plans, and you see the plans coming one after another. You're just about done with the 401K, and That's that correct. happened. Things that nobody would even think of. So it's very sad. But at the same time, he wants to focus to be on accomplishments, not on what you're talking about. Well, Alex believed that. 
I'm willing to live with anything, John. I think you know me. I've lived through things that, that you wouldn't believe. Uh, Alex felt that way. And he also felt we're so good, we're doing so well. The economy, the stock market just hit the highest point yesterday in the history of our country. Our unemployment numbers are the best they've ever been. If you look at specifically certain groups, African-American, Asian, Hispanic, the best unemployment numbers in the history of our country. Uh, you know, there are so many good things, and he didn't want to distract from that. And I understand that 100 percent.